Hey folks, and Mr. Yeah, David here, you're watching a bit of uh, 40k Space Marine. Got my uh, Storm Bolter again and uh, see what I can do. The Dark Angel color scheme, big fan of the uh, the Dark Angels have uh, historically been, and if that doesn't mean anything to you, that's uh, totally fine. Um, basically, I like uh, I like the green, uh, to put it in layman's terms. <laughs> um, I don't know, it, it might be a bit unnecessary to actually say that this is uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine. Because, like, it's in the title, and chances are you didn't just stumble upon this. So, I mean, it's kind of self-evident. Grenades there. See, so, yeah, I'm just taking the... <laughs> get out of my way! <laughs> oh yeah, so, uh, I'm gonna I'm try to get in their face, do a little bit of a flank here. Um, like, I realize that kind of self-criticism is, uh... Is a, uh, a viable and recognizable form of... Oh, sneaky Gus! See, with this map, usually there's a bit of a, a heavy shooting gallery near the back, and uh, when trying to flank that shooting gallery, it's best not to approach it from uh, the front of their guns. Um, just a little tip. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, like, the, the soul criticism, right? I bring it up because uh, I've watched some of my older vids, and uh, it's interesting. I can actually uh, examine and kind of learn from uh, my missteps and, uh, and mistakes. Um, and hopefully learn and improve. Although, to be honest, I think I'm getting worse as I play this game. There we go. Because, yeah, I'm doing the same thing here. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> Next game. Um, so, yeah, I think a little, uh, little self-appraisal, uh, not necessarily uh, self-criticism, is, uh, is totally warranted. Although there's that whole, uh, what is it, uh, self-deprecating humor that uh, it's very popular with the kids these days. Um, just to push and be here. But uh, I think the distinction being is uh, when self criticism becomes. Uh, that dude just walked up and shot me right in the face. <laughs> uh, well played, sir. Um, yeah, I think uh, where self criticism becomes uh, crippling is I was out for, uh, for dinner with uh, some friends. And, uh, and there's this chick, right, a uh, friend of everybody, and she's uh, she had to leave kind of early, so we'd finished uh, finished eating. And... Again, so I'm trying to get a handle on a objective, but I'm having trouble with the approach. Um, yeah. So anyway, this chick, right? So she uh, she leaves. We're all finished dinner. And, um, she kind of waves meekly and, and takes off. And uh, nice enough girl, like um, not bad at all, like decent person. Um, a little quiet, not really. Oh, melt a gun close range. This is a terrible situation. I got this. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Kind of a weak ass kill, but good enough. I'm just really trying to survive at this point, trying to make something happen. Oh! That was a fantastic timing, Rainer. Well done. And so she leaves, right? Um, and then she comes back, uh, seconds later, uh, with a meek little wave and almost a, like an apologetic look on her face, and uh, um, grabs her uh, her to-go food. She had uh, not finished her meal and decided to get some to wrap up. And the reason I bring it up, and why it's even applicable to uh, that self-criticism and self-doubt of this nonsense, just owned. This game is not going very well. <laughs> is, uh... Um... She uh, she explained her actions when she came back. She said, "Oh, it's I need this because uh, it's a lot easier than cooking for myself. You know, I can eat it tomorrow." Which is strange. Because what she was responding to is no one at the table was wondering what she was doing. It was obvious that she had forgotten the food. She was coming back to get it. So what would have been? I'm back that dude up. No. Oh. Ah, uh, it's marvelous. What do we got here? Oh, hello, gentlemen. One for you. Eh, should be a little bit left for you. Ha. Beautiful. All right, things are looking up for old uh, Mr. Yeah. I'm not gonna refer to myself in the third person again. I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, she was responding to this imaginary criticism. Um, where she had to explain her actions, that, oh, I'm taking this, and um, my behavior is valid. But no one had said anything, and then it occurred to me that she wasn't talking to us, she was talking to her, 
her own inner voice that was criticizing her behavior. Like, what, do you, do you forget your food, dummy? Like, that sort of thing, where she has to, like, oh no, it's, it's, it's decent, and... The point of the game is not to shoot where the guy has been. <laughs> there we go, nice. Ah. Outplayed. And, uh... At that point, um... When having a conversation with an individual like that, I'm really talking with... The person themselves, and then also... The, the narrative of, of self-doubt and criticism. So it's really like having a conversation with, like, two or more people at the same time. Which makes for a very, very cumbersome endeavor. So basically... Oh. Can I take this? Hmm. Again, well played, sir. <laughs> that same greenie. So really, like, the, uh, the moral of the story is, uh... Try to relax and, and be easy on yourselves. I mean, there's enough negativity and, and outright antagonism coming from outside... Uh, sources that just just relax and be gentle on yourselves. I mean, it's okay to go back and get your food if you forgot it. I make mistakes all the time. For instance, <laughs> I make mistakes all the time. But uh, just keeping a taking a sober second look at uh, at my behavior and trying to improve on it, uh, I mean, that's fine. Just kind of like let it end there and not uh, consume you. So another thing I, uh, how are we doing? Ah, three. This game is not looking good. <laughs> Should be wrapped up here pretty soon. Um, another thing I kind of wanted to, uh, to mention is uh, just about trash talk in general. But the, the segue being the, uh, uh, outsourced negativity and, uh, an outright antagonism that you don't have to home grow that, home grow that stuff. I mean, it'll be presented to you. And, uh, one of those forms is trash talk, and I just, I don't understand. Because you'll notice that I have the mic muted uh, when I play this game. The default is they're all on, which is really freaking frustrating for a dude like me who just doesn't want to be uh, berated with uh, heavy breathing uh, mongoloids. Um, that may be unfair, but uh, in my experience, when occasionally like a mic will pop on, like the settings uh, just haven't been adjusted, it's invariably someone swearing about a misstep, or how the game's broken, or leg is terrible, or threatening someone's mother. Yeah, it's just screwed there. <laughs> in that, I couldn't back up because the uh, last cannon had me, and then uh, two guys in front of me. Poorly placed. But uh, the game seems to be turning around, which is kind of nice. We're actually looking at a three cap here. That's kind of cool about this game is that uh, even though they had a ridiculous lead, uh, with some effort and a little bit of coordination, we can uh, still uh, maybe pull out a half-decent game. But, okay, as far as uh, trash talk, um, is it... I've got a couple theories, right? Is it the anonymity of it, where I have the opportunity, as a faceless entity, to be aggressive and uh, and rude to another individual? Like, is that it? Just the opportunity itself? Um, as presented to the, the random user, um, gives them free license to just be a total jerk? Like, is that the case? And I was like, well, that may be the case in, in some instances, but then uh, more than likely it's a combination of that and then also um, some twisted insights, right? Where someone's just, ha ha ha, hello. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, played, sir. Um, yeah, the twisted insight. So a combination of anonymity and someone who's not quite right and angry at the world, and you know, it's just a target of opportunity that uh, that lends itself to that kind of behavior. Um, so two possible uh, instances there, but even more so, I was thinking like, what if it's just like a dialect, right? like a bonics, where it's just a, a manner of speaking for gamers, that if translated directly sounds ridiculous, but for those in the know, it's just how things are said. Oh, the music coming in, and this game looks like it's going to be a win. Oh, well done, gentlemen. It's a messy win, that's nice.
<laughs> it's a messy win, but I'll take it. Um, but a damn solid game. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, Mr. Yeah, David. Jeez, what do we got? Self-criticism, take it easy on yourself. Uh, trash talk. Um, I really... I don't know, I just try to behave myself in all circumstances. <laughs> and is this guy going to be... A yeah. Oh. Well, dead on the floor victory. That's about appropriate for the level of my performance in this game. But, solid team player. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, take care.